Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting Him. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obuena. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you for your word. We thank you because your word is going forth. It's bringing healing. It's bringing deliverance. Let's bless his holy name. Let's tell him thank you, Father. We thank you. Lord will praise you, Lord will praise you, Lord will praise you, Lord will praise you. There is no one like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, it said, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. It said, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This, condemn. this morning, Whatever that represents a weapon, a weapon of destruction, a weapon of deception, a weapon of wickedness, a weapon, whatever represents a weapon around you, it shall not prosper. Lift up your voice as we pray this morning. No weapon from the against your dream, against your vision, against your calling, against your assignment shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Isaiah 55, verse 11. In Isaiah 55, verse 11, he said, He said, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. He said, The word that goes out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Every prophetic word that God has given to you, it is time for accomplishment. It is time for manifestation. Let's begin to pray for the manifestations of the things God has spoken to us. Concern our dreams, concern our families, concern our relationship, concern our job, concern our ministry. Lagada, <laughs> 
We'll see manifestations of the things God has spoken to us, manifestations beyond our imagination, manifestations uh, that will exceed our imagination. Manifestations of the prophetic words you have received, manifestations of the things God has spoken in the name of Jesus. We see manifestations of the things God has spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lamb of God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, the God who is more than enough. Li karaba se kamba baba ba. Li kondolo ba sa katali braga da baba. Li kondoli bla kanda ra bra kada la baba se ketoli bla kada baba. Rainbow se ketoli bla kamba baba ba. In the name of Jesus, we're gonna pray right now for the salvation of your family members, your brothers, your sisters, most of your family members that are not saved. We're gonna pray for their salvation now. In Ezekiel thirty-six verse. 26. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 26, he said, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart. We're going to pray right now that every stony heart, in maybe you want your husband to be saved, your wife, your son, your daughter, they, they have had this stony heart. We're praying that God will replace that heart this morning with his spirit. Let's pray this morning that God will take away the stone in heart, the, 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 the heart of stone, sorry, the, the, the heart of stone, that whatever heart of stone that any of our family members, our brothers, our sisters, for all of these years, they are still in the wall. They have not come to know Jesus. Let's pray that God take that away. In the name of Jesus, pray for your daughter, pray for your son, pray for your friend, pray for your family members who may be in this state right now, that the Spirit of God will help them out of this situation. In the name of Jesus, Lord will rebuke every stone in heart, a heart that, that is full of wickedness, a heart that is full of wickedness. We will we, we'll remove it in the name of Jesus. We'll see it going, the heart of wickedness. Every stony heart. He's taking it away this morning. He's taking it away right now. We're going to hear testimonies of our family members being restored. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. What well, I like us to look at this scripture in Ezekiel chapter. 36 verse 30. Ezekiel 36 verse 30. He said, I will multiply the fruit of the tree. I will multiply the fruit. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field. I will multiply. I like us to lift up our voice this morning that there will be multiplication of profits. There will be multiplication of profits in our businesses. In, in our business, in whatever area God has called us to serve, in whatever area God has called us to do something for him, you have a multiplication. Supernatural multiplication. Supernatural multiplication. We see supernatural multiplication in the name of Jesus. We prophesy manifestation of supernatural multiplication in the name of Jesus. We'll call it forth. We'll see it manifesting. We'll see it happening by the Holy Ghost. Magiga Bradose, Kandeba, Sukamba, Melega, Tozuka, Bagala, Baligo, 
Mandre se tonto l'ombre to tonta la pran katabantu kobanga bababa. Melikon do broton santo lo broton sa kataban sin kapamba. Melingraton so kondo lo bosan kalinga da basun kabalanga. Melingraton sinko do bosan kadigra paso kondo broton sa kambra dis katala bango. Melingraton son kroto sa kontali kanda la papa santu apa. Melunga brigata basu kambra dis ketolo kopambra to se katalika pradesa kababa. Molunga brates ke toma kandingra to so kotoma katinka la plante sakababa. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now I want to share briefly from Ezekiel thirty-seven, and the Spirit of the Lord quickened this word in my heart. Your dreams will rise again. Your dreams. There are dreams. That we had ten years ago, five years ago, six months ago, three months ago, but suddenly it's like you lost motivation for that dream. Suddenly it's like the passion for that dream is gone. The 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 the, the desire you have to see that dream come to pass is no more there. And the Lord said, "Your dreams shall rise." Again, in Ezekiel 37, verse 1, he said, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the bone, in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Hmm. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones. It is time to prophesy upon your dreams. It is time. To prophesy upon your visions. It is time to prophesy on the things God has spoken to you. He said, prophesy to these bones. Sometimes people have a vision to do something, and suddenly they begin to lose the motivation for the vision. The motivation is no more there. The passion is gone. The drive is gone. The energy is gone. But that dream was from God. And one of the reasons why people can lose passion for their dreams is when there is a delay. But when they experience delay, when things are not working out according to the expectation, the tendency for them to start losing focus is there. But the Lord is saying today to us, it is time for your dreams to rise again. It is time for these dreams to rise again because something amazing is about to happen. Something amazing is about to break out in your life, to break out in your vision, to break out in your assignment. Something amazing is about to happen. Get ready because your dream season is now. Your dream season is now. Get ready. You are about to see amazing manifestation of the favor of God that will exceed your imagination. It's time for your dream to rise again. Whatever vision you had 40 years ago, 25 years ago, that you know that the Spirit of God has put in your heart, either because people have people's attitude or betrayal or rejection or situations you've gone through in life, and then you say, well, I don't think I'm going to pursue this dream anymore. I don't think I'm going to pursue this dream anymore. Hear, hear the word of the Lord. Your dreams are rising again. Your dreams are rising again. The motivation to pursue the dream is upon you. The motivation to pursue the dream is upon you. The motivation to turn back and say, this is possible. 
This is possible. The bones were dry, but Ezekiel was commanded to prophesy. You see, that is what we're to do. In the midst of adversity, opposition, affliction, we are expected to prophesy. Prophecy is not foretelling. That is not what it is. The Bible said that prophecies, and especially the New Testament, prophecies for exaltation, for edification, and for comfort. So a New Testament believer is that believer with ability to also prophesy. We all can prophesy. We all can speak words of edification, words of comfort, words of peace, and hear yet the word of the Lord. Your dreams are rising again. Your dreams are rising again. The things you consider impossible, there is a release of the Spirit of God to give you opportunities. Your dreams are rising again. Receive inspiration for your dreams. Receive inspiration in the name of Jesus to pursue that dream of building that mega organization to pursue that dream of building that mega teamwork. Rando Shokondo Lobo Shakababa. Melindra Toseke Tolibla Kababa. May your passion be quickened. May your motivation come alive for the things God has spoken to you. Magriga Tosoka Palanga Gudunza. Melendra Toseke Tola Kambra Tosakaba. Meliga Buzuka Brateske Tomasu Kambrate Sakaba. Leguma Zeketo Malandra Tosek. Masuka, Meliga Bazuga Barando Seketo Masaka, Meliga Buzuka Parando Sokonto. May you be quickened in the name of Jesus uh, to pursue your vision. The, the vision, I saw someone here many years ago. You had a dream to own a bank. You had a dream to own a bank. You said, I would like to go into banking business. But that dream just died. It's like the dream just died. And this is over 10 to 15 years. You have never talked about that dream anymore. I hear the Lord saying, I am awakening. I'm awakening your passion for that dream. That that dream is still possible. I don't know who you are. But that is what it's telling me. That that dream to own that bank is possible. He it said it's not going to be by your mind or by your strength. It's going to be by the leadership of the Spirit. He said if you can trust the leadership of the Spirit, you're going to have manifestation. If you can trust the leadership of the Spirit, you're going to have manifestation. If you can trust the leadership of the Spirit, He's going to guide you into opportunities. He's going to guide you into uh, open doors, divine connections that will take you into the manifestation of this establishment. This is what the Lord is saying. He said, there is no dream that is too big for Jesus. If God will give us Jesus, there is nothing he cannot give to us. No dream is so big that God cannot help you to pursue the vision. Then I heard the Spirit of the Lord said, tell the people to dream big things. Dream big dreams. Dream dreams that only God can help you fulfill. Yes, that's the word for someone right now. It's time for big dreams. It's time for big dreams. It's time for big it's things. Ours. It's time for outstanding things. It's time for big dreams. It is time to bring down the Goliath. It doesn't matter how this Goliath look before you. It is time to bring down Goliath. It's time for big dreams, says the Lord. Believe me for the impossible. Believe me for the things you can consider in the natural to be impossible and then expect the release of the Spirit to turn it into a reality. Thank you, Father. Manifestation of big dreams.
manifestation of big dreams hallelujah makuriga ba pronto santo lobo saca libra kababa manifestation of big dreams hallelujah e koto malangra to se kababa bababa manifestation of big dreams hallelujah 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 masuka baba limitations are fallen in the name of jesus the limitations are fallen the limitations are broken you can dream big dreams you can run mega corporations Someone many years ago, you wanted to do a hotel business to own a hotel in your city, and it looked like that dream started fading away. Receive supernatural insight to know what to do concerning that dreams. Big dreams are waking up. Big dreams are rising. Big dreams are waking up. Yes, the dream to build a school. Those dreams are rising. The dream to own a, a crutch. Those dreams are rising. Masaba. The dreams to own a, a eatery, a, 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 a fast food restaurant. Man, those dreams are rising again. The dreams to run a mall, a, a supermarket, a mall. Those dreams are rising again. May you be quickened by the Holy Ghost. Jesus, the, the scripture said in Romans 8, 11, if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He will quicken. Now your dreams are quickened. Your visions are quickened. The things you consider impossible by the help of the Holy Ghost receive possibilities. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit of God. Makaliga Barando. Meleke Tomakula Karamba Sakalamba. Mbriga Turanga 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 Turanga. Turanga 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 Turanga. Mele Kotuma Sukanda Rukanda Rebrato Sakamba. Melika Mbrato Sekatababa. The dreams are rising again. Your dreams are rising again. Opportunities for your visions are rising. Opportunity for your vision is rising. God will give you opportunities to manifest face the big dreams. God will give you opportunities and platforms to manifest the big dream. I hear the Lord say, don't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Don't be intimidated by the size of the vision. Believe me, trust me. Abraham believed God. It was counted for him for righteousness. Abraham believed God. It's time to believe God. It's time to say, Lord, I trust you. It doesn't matter what they say. It is possible. There is a manifestation of possibility by the release of the Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Big dreams are manifesting. Big dreams are manifesting. Big dreams are manifesting. Oh, that's a prophetic word for someone right now. My big dreams are manifesting. My big dreams are manifesting. My big dreams are happening in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My big dreams are manifesting. I'm not going to be cold towards my dream. I'm not going to be silent towards my dreams. I'm not going to be silent towards my vision. My big dreams are manifesting. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My big dreams are manifesting. Thank you, Father. The things you thought would take years to happen, watch God make them happen in weeks. (laughs) The things you thought would take years We're going to save and save and save and save and save and save and save. I hear the Lord say, retrain, take take yourself out of that mindset. Take yourself out of that mindset. Take yourself out of that mindset. Trust me for manifestation of supply. Trust me for manifestation of supply. You don't have to pay for that house for 30 years. No, 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 no. You don't have to pay for that house for 20 years. No, 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 no. You don't have to pay for that house for 15 years. No, 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 no. God said, trust me for supply. You don't have to pay for that house for one for, for one year. There is going to be a supernatural supply. You don't have to pay for that house for, for two years, for 10 years, for 50 years. No. There are a lot of people that they have to pay for the, for the house all their entire life. No, but breaking free from that system in the name of Jesus. You're free from that system right now. You're free from that system right now. Expect miracles of supply. Expect supernatural provision. Hallelujah. Expect, expect, expect supernatural provision, supply of the spirit that will exceed your imagination. You won't pay for that house your entire life in the name of Jesus. You won't pay for that car for the next 10 years. No, no, in the name of Jesus, your car declared death free by the spirit of 
of God. You don't pay for your children tuition for the next 20 years. No, we break that curse. We break that limitation. Now we we'll release supply in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Receive preferential treatment. Receive supernatural favor. Receive supernatural opportunity to have manifestation that will change your mentality. To have manifestation that will accelerate your destiny. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. You are in the days where you pay in cash. You have entered your cash season. You are going to pay cash for that house. You are going to pay cash for that car. Hallelujah. God is opening doors for you to pay in cash. Hallelujah. Take it right now. Take it right now. Your, your generation, nobody may have done that, but you are going to do that. Hallelujah. The anointing is coming upon you. That anointing upon Abraham to pay for things cash. That anointing that is upon him is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, receive grace to do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive wisdom for your wealth. Receive wisdom to manage your resources. Receive wisdom to maximize resources. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I hear the Lord saying, tell my people, don't train yourself to dwell in depth. Don't train yourself to dwell in depth. Don't train yourself to dwell in depth. Train yourself to dwell in increase says the Lord. Train yourself to dwell in increase. Don't train yourself to dwell in debt, to dwell in struggle. No, it said you, you, you need to, there has to be a mindset shift. There has to be a shift in mindset. Hallelujah. The Lord said, my people are getting what their mindset is. <laughs> there is a need for a change of mindset this morning. You know, there are things people have said, it's not possible. We don't have the money. It's not possible. Now, whatever you are saying is what you're getting. Whatever your mindset is, is what you're attracting. So it is time to have a mindset shift. There has to be a mindset shift right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, it, it's a I, I, with God, all things are possible. Can you begin to take those scriptures? With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Can you take that scripture? With God, all things are possible. Philippians 1 verse 6. He who has begun a good work in me will bring it to completion. Yes, hear the scripture the Lord dropped in my heart. In Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Mark 9, 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. If thou can believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. Can you make this scripture a major part of your thinking? Can you make this scripture a major part of your confession? Can you make this scripture a major part of your way of doing things? Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things, all things are possible to him that believeth. So to pay for cash is possible. To pay off that mortgage in the next two months is possible. To, to pay off that debt in the next six months is possible. Whatever it is, he said, all things are possible. Train yourself to have a possibility mindset. Train yourself to have a possibility mindset. Now, there is a lot of training we pick from our culture. They tell you you cannot easily pay for cash. The culture train you that you can't pay for cash. <laughs> That is the, the demonic system of the banking system. They say you can't pay for cash. You need us to pay for it. So we said, yes, we need you. So we're not, we have to depend on them because the society have trained us to trust the banking system, to trust them for everything. But you see, the, the word of the Lord is coming to us right now saying, that is not my system. That system was a borrowed system. Can you believe me to show up? Can you believe me to open a business door? Can you believe me to open an opportunity for you to make the money and become debt free? Can you believe me? See, until you train yourself to think from realm of possibility, the system will continue to enslave you. Until you train yourself 
to, to see possibility, the system will continue to enslave you. We can't trust in the system. We have to trust in El Shaddai. And for we to trust in El Shaddai, we need to walk by faith. We need to walk by faith. He said, the scripture already said, Jesus said unto him. Jesus said unto him. Jesus is saying unto you, Denzel. Jesus is saying unto you, Chuck. Jesus is saying unto you, Shamin. Jesus is saying unto you, Diana. Jesus is saying unto you, Martina. Jesus is saying to everyone that called him that I can't see their name. Jesus is saying unto you, it's you Jesus is talking to. <laughs> it's you Jesus is talking to this morning. This is your rema. This is your rema. Jesus is talking to you, Denzel, this morning. He said, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Who is all things possible to? To him that believeth. Operation, retrain your mind. It is time to break loose from the system. Somebody's breaking out of the circle. You're not going to be in the normal circle anymore. In the name of Jesus, I will pay for cash. I will pay for cash. I will pay in cash. In the name of Jesus, it will go through. I believe in God. You start talking that way. You start thinking that way. You know what you're doing? You're creating an atmosphere where God can move. Give God something to work with. This scripture is something he can work with. Give God something to work with. We can pay for cash for that aircraft. We can pay for cash for building that school we intend to build. We can pay for cash for, for that orphanage project. We can pay, whatever it is, we can pay cash. Why? Because we are God's people. We are God's people. The days of being enslaved in debt is over. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that that curse mentality is broken. That curse mentality is broken. We have the mindset set of supernatural living. Yes, we shall lend and not borrow. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are the head and not the tail. Above only. You are the head and not the tail. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There is a supply. There is a provision in the name of Jesus. Everybody declare it. There is a supply. There is a provision. Hey, there is a supply. There is a provision. Hallelujah. There is a supply. There is a provision. Hallelujah. There is a supply. There is a provision. There is a supply. There is a provision in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for supply. We'll declare you debt free. We'll declare you pressure free. We'll declare you worry free. I declare you anxiety free. I declare you depression free. I declare you frustration free in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, you have the mindset of Jesus. You have the mindset of the Holy Ghost. And you will think in the direction of the will of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Negative mindset is broken right now. Every mindset you pick from your parents that is not in line with God's word, may it be broken in the name of Jesus. Every mindset you pick from your community that is not in line with the word of God, may it be broken right now. Every mindset you pick from your country that is not consistent with the mindset of God's word, may it be broken from this day forward. May you enjoy true liberty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wow. What a great time this morning. Mindsets are shifting. Mindsets are shifting. Hallelujah. A cash mentality is coming. Mm. And I heard the Lord said, paid in full. Wow. That's what I heard the Lord said. Paid in full. Paid in full. Paid in full. Hallelujah. Something has just happened to your mindset this morning. You take this scripture, Mark 9, 23, and you copy it out. You copy this scripture out, Mark 9, 23, and you begin to read it to yourself every day and say, if I believe, all things are possible to me. I believe. Let, this is the way you can write. You can write, he said, uh, and Jesus said unto me, because I have believed, all things are possible to me. Because I have believed, all things are possible unto me. Jesus said unto me, because I have believed, all things are possible to me. So that is what we're going to say. Because I have believed, all things are possible unto me. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, amen.
We're going to be back again tomorrow. So I want to encourage you to invite someone for these 40 days of prayer. We've been having a wonderful time in this place. Hallelujah. We've been having a wonderful time. So invite someone tomorrow and let them come in and they will remain the same. We want to encourage you to consider partnering with this ministry. Partnership should be so strategic as we take the message of our Lord Jesus Christ to more people around the world. You can partner with this ministry by going to finishworktv.com and slash giving and give as the Spirit of God will lead you. Thank you for being part of this mindset shift. Hallelujah. And you will not remain the same. Your mind will not remain the same. Something just broke. I'm going to, I'm going to hear your testimony. <laughs> Something just broke off you this morning. And this scripture you got this morning with God, all things are possible. And maybe you can add the last scripture, Romans chapter 4, verse 3, you know, a portion, a part of it there said, and Abraham believed God and it was counted for him for righteousness. So if you believe God, it will be counted for you for death free. Ooh. If you believe God, it will be counted for you that you're death free. Hallelujah. So we believe God this morning. Thank you, Father. Until our next broadcast, don't forget this. There is greatness in you and Jesus is coming soon. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. And have a very blissful experience today.